Hi, I'm Keith Esserick, I'm with the Care Start Sound. I'm Trent Hummel, I'm a pediatric neuro-oncologist at Cincinnati Children's Hospital and a board member of the Care Start Sound. So let's talk about chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. Chemotherapy, um, is it something that's always used to measure lobulastoma? Is it part of the treatment regimen or is sometimes you just do uh, one and not the other? So chemotherapy is a definitive part of your metalloblastoma therapy. Um, with surgery and radiation, um, you'll have chemotherapy afterwards. Now, there are different types of chemotherapy out there. There's different types based on your subtype or your group. Yeah. There's different types based on your stage, and there's different types based on your age. But part of the therapy for, or part of the treatment for medulloblastoma is surgery, radiation, depending on your age, and chemotherapy. And that chemotherapy can be used in combination with other types of drugs and mixed yes. depending upon what type of protocols or whatever exactly. you have. Yeah. Okay. Is there ever a, a need to have chemotherapy at the same time as radiation or is that usually not pursued? Oftentimes we will give chemotherapy on a weekly basis while you're getting radiation. That is dependent on the, the uh, stage of the tumor or the grouping of the tumor as well as the status of the patient. Sometimes the patient is not in a place uh, or has so many side effects from the actual medulloblastoma or surgery that giving chemotherapy during radiation is just not feasible and would hurt them rather than help them. But in general, there are protocols out there that do give chemotherapy during radiation. Um, there's also a couple of things that people will tend to talk a little bit about. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll talk about the various types of chemotherapy methods, mm -hmm. like intra-arterial, mm -hmm. CED. To what's what's kind of the standard of care when it comes to medulloblastoma in, in the administration of chemotherapy? So, the standard of care with medulloblastoma is using chemotherapy that is administered intravenously. So, most patients will have a pick line or a port or some sort of central line to provide them an easy access to allow uh, your physician to, to give you uh, chemotherapy. Most, most chemotherapy regimens involve some sort of platinum, that's a broad spectrum name of a class of, of chemotherapies, but they will have some sort of platinum component. Um, but the degree or combination of those other components um, tend to vary uh, depending on uh, your institution and even the country that you live in.